Celine Dion has expressed strong disapproval of Donald Trump using her iconic song, My Heart Will Go On, at a rally in Montana without permission. The incident took place on Friday, and Dion's team quickly responded, issuing a statement on Saturday, August 10, via social media platform X. Dion's management and her record label, Sony Music Entertainment Canada Inc., emphasized that they were unaware of the unauthorized use of the video, recording, musical performance, and Dion's likeness at the Trump and J.D. Vance campaign event. The statement made it clear that this use was not sanctioned and that Dion does not endorse such actions. The message ended with a sharp critique, and really, that song? Trump's rally featured other famous tracks as well, including Harry Nilsson's, Without You, Marvin Gaye's, Mercy, Mercy Me, Dolly Parton's, I Will Always Love You, and several songs by Elvis Presley. However, his use of Dion's song, particularly with a video of her performing the Titanic ballad, could have legal repercussions. This isn't the first time Trump has used Dion's music at political events, but this particular instance might lead to more serious consequences. According to Variety, the unauthorized use of Dion's likeness and performance could result in legal action against Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance. The situation highlights ongoing tensions between artists and politicians over the use of music at campaign events, especially when done without proper authorization.